Hey, this is Gerald. And I'll be with Bass Kicking Adventures. We are going to do some bass fishing today. It's about 70 degrees in North Carolina. If you look at the treetops, you can see it's extremely windy. But we are completely surrounded by trees where we're at. So it's very calm at this pond. The only problem with the pond is it's very, very muddy and there's a lot of moss on top of the water. So we haven't had much luck in here the last few days. We just wanted to fish a little bit, so we're going to try it. And I am using a top water buzz bait. It's a small one. I am using a crawdad lure. She has the Rebel Crawfish. And we have a few other lures that we're going to try if these don't work. We appreciate you watching. All right, get them, big girl. Just had a bite on this. Got it. All right, guys, so that little bass right there, he he struck at it. And then I threw it right back in the same spot, and he grabbed it the next time. He's a small one, but he gave a good little fight because we're using these Micro Zebco 33 reels today. And the big girl always likes to get the hook out of the fish, which is fine with me. Let me see his mouth. All right. Oh, maybe that's the start of good things. I think we would do really well in here if, if all this moss wasn't on top of the water, but it's really affecting what we're throwing right now. Big girl got her bass on a bubblegum swirl Cinco. All right. Good job. Give me a thumbs up. So we just switched over to these bubblegum swirl Cinco's because the moss is so bad in here. We can't really use anything unless it's weedless. There's one. A little dinker.
Well guys, today is a perfect example of what worked yesterday at one pond may not work the next day at another pond. Because yesterday I was absolutely slaying them with this hum, yum dinger. And today I have got one bite and I caught him and he was just a tiny thing. So, yesterday it took me a little while to figure out what they wanted at that pond I was at. And once I tried the yum dinger, I did very well. And it looks like I'm about to do the same thing here today. Now this pond here has got some big bass in it and I've caught my fair share of dinkers out of here too but it's definitely got big bass in here I caught one that's 7.4 pounds out of here but they can be kind of tricky to catch I don't know how in the world I caught that guy. He just picked it up, took off running with it. Right at the bank. Well, just found me a whopper plopper laid on the ground out here. Alright, so this back part of the lake right here or pond don't really qualify for a lake but this back part here I'm always good for one little bass and I probably just jinx myself jinx myself by saying that but I, I catch one little bass back here that's all I ever catch And that was right on time. Now I gotta be honest with you, since I caught him on the on the first cast, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that I'm gonna catch one more small one. caught two more off camera uh, Aubrey caught the biggest one probably about two pounds and she caught it off that uh, bubblegum swirl Senko worm 
and so anyways appreciate you guys watching please hit that subscribe button hit the like button and we'll have more videos coming out soon take care